Now another property that we have for cosets is the order of the coset is equal to the order of the subgroup. Okay. This is the case for both left coset and right coset. Okay. So let us also prove this. I am going to prove this by contradiction again. Okay. Proof by contradiction. Okay. So just understand one thing over here. Since your AH is of the type this. Okay. A H where H belongs to capital H. Okay. Therefore maximum order of AH is equal to the order of H. Right? Because we are doing A star H1, A star H2 up till A star HN where N is the order of your H. So at max we are going to get what? We are going to get elements like this. Okay? Up till a h n. So in that case I will have the maximum order when all the elements of these operations are distinct. Okay. And in that case the order would be equal to the order of my subgroup. Okay. Now let us assume that this is not the case. That is my contradiction. Okay. So since this is true. What's going to happen is always this equation is going to be valid. Okay. But I am making a contradiction over here. I am assuming that this is true. Okay. It is less than H. Okay. Look, there are two possibilities. It can be less than or it can be equal. Okay. I am assuming with this and if I would be able to prove that this is not the case, then it would be equal. Right. And if it is equal, then effectively I have proved my property. Okay. So that's what we are trying to do over here. So assuming this is the case, then there would be an element such that such that I have a star h1 equal to a star h2 right in that case the order is going to become less than the order of my subgroup right but this basically implies a inverse a star h1 is equal to a inverse a star h2 right which basically tells me that h1 is equal to h2 right therefore I can say that there is no element like this okay therefore I can say that this assumption is not valid okay so I'm just going to write therefore this assumption is not valid. Okay. Oops. Implying that the other case is true and what is the other case the other case is this implying that this is equal to this okay because we only have two possible cases over here either it is less or it is equal since it is not less therefore it is equal right so that's how you prove this particular property okay so that was some of your properties of your cosets now using the properties that we have discussed just now we are going to look at what is known as a Lagrange's theorem. Okay. The theorem states that if G is a finite group. Okay. G comma star. 